Hey guys, welcome back to Explore Electronics Plus. So if you are a fresher looking for design verification role or understanding the UVM methodology, this video is for you. So I am going to explain here how actually the UVM flow will be, what are all the general codes we will be having in UVM test bench, which is there for any of the project, irrespective of the project we need to have these set of codes in UVM and how actually the execution of those will be and how the different phases mechanism in UVM in different blocks of the UVM test bench. If you see this diagram, this is a UVM architecture, a general UVM architecture and this will be having a test components and inside the test component we will be having environment. This environment consisting of scoreboard and agent. Inside the agent we have monitor, driver and sequencer. And inside the sequencer we have a sequence class that will generate us the stimulus and we will be driving that to the DUT through driver. The driver functionality has to drive that signals to the DUT and DUT will perform its operation and given back that results to monitor. Monitor will collect those and it will give the result to scoreboard. Scoreboard will decide whether the test what we performed, the DUT is generating the current result or not. So we are getting the result of our test in a scoreboard. This is the general flow of UVM environment. So these UVM components will follow a standard method of executing its code one after the other. So that standard methodology is called as phase mechanism. So broadly we will be classifying the different phases of UVM as build phases, run phases and cleanup phases. In build phases, we will be building and connecting the components of UVM. That is build phase, connect phase and end of elaboration phase. And then start of simulation and run phases will be called as run phases. And these are time consuming uh, phases where the stimulus will be generated and it will be casted to the uh, driver and to the DUT and also we will be getting the results in the monitor and scoreboard. So all these things happen in the run phase. Once the run phase is completed, we will be extracting the result and checking that result is correct or not and the reports are going to be generated and final outcome of the test will be presented. These are the different phases which UVM will follow and it will allow us to execute the things and understand the test bench components in a better way. So let us try to understand through a code and which will be a common code for any of the project you are going to work on. So starting with the module top. So the top layer of the test bench is a Verilog module. This module top will be consisting of a run test triggering point. It means from here, the UVM test environment is get triggered or it is going to start we can say. So here you can observe under initial begin end block I have a run test. This run underscore test is a UVM standard function we are going to call over here to trigger my particular test. My test is the uh, class I have here. This test is going to be triggered from the top layer. It means I have a standard UVM function to start my test bench, right? To access all the UVM facilities and the macros like UVM info to display some string, we'll be having UVM macros.svh file, we need to include that first. And also to access all the base classes of UVM, we need to import the UVM package. And these are all the different UVM components I am using here, I am including in the test bench top itself. And starting from here, if you see, I have two dotted display statements using UVM info. The statements display will start from here. And then I will be having my uh, two set of statements to be displayed as test bench top initial block disease. And here we will be setting the interface in a config DB. And if you know the concept of any test bench in system relog, we will be using interface to drive the signals to the DUT. right? This interface access is required in the driver as well as in the monitor to drive the things to the DUT and to get back the things from the DUT. So first we will be setting that interface handle in the config DB. This config DB set we need to write in the test bench top itself and in the driver and monitor we are going to get this, right? So this is the part of the top code where we will be setting the interface generally and we will be triggering the test over here and other than that we will be having a DUT instance and an interface instance over here. And what happens when we call this run test? 
you can see over oh uh, you can see over here after these four lines of execution we will be calling the constructor of the test class from where we are calling this means by executing this run test and then we are calling this main test this is my main test extending from uvm test this constructor it is calling directly so it will build the test right now the constructor of the test is called and it is running my test as soon as it get into the uvm class we will be starting our phases right so i have written here phases will start executing over here after the constructor of the test class you can see build phase of the test is executed so starting from build phase will be having the different phases up to final phases right but this build phase is top down execution we can say means top down in the sense test is a top block under that we will be having environment under that we will be having scoreboard agent under that sequencer driver monitors are there so build phase of these things will be executed first in a top down fashion you can see here build phase of the test is the print component uh, i am going to get it over here this is executing and as soon as build phase of the test is executed what i am doing here means the lower component of the my test component is going to be created over here in the build phase so what is the lower component that is environment i have a instance and the handle here the object creation i need to do here by calling the constructor of the environment that i am doing inside a build phase this is the common build phase structure you will be seeing in any of the test bench irrespective of the project within the test you need to have an environment and you need to create it in a build phase so this line of code will create us the object for env by calling the constructor you can see build phase of the test class is executed and then it went to environment under top that is the constructor of the environment class is created uh, calling so this is the constructor of the environment class this constructor is building the environment now under the environment will be having agent and scoreboard now the build phase of this environment has to be executed right so now we can expect build phase of the environment over here this will construct agent scoreboard and also yeah agent and scoreboard so agent and scoreboard is going to be created here i have an instance of those so you can see the constructor of the agent is called and also the constructor of the scoreboard is called means under the environment we will be having agent and scoreboard these two constructors are called in the build phase of the environment so it will go to the constructor of agent again and inside agent we will be having sequencer driver and monitor and build phase of the agent is going to be creating those objects right so after the constructor of the build phase of the agent you can see constructor of the sequencer constructor of the driver and constructor of the monitor classes are called and these three lines indicating that the lower components are created once the top component build phase is executing and as soon as it complete creating those it will enter the build phase of the driver it will enter the build phase of the monitor it will enter the build phase of the uh, sequencer if you have written so if you see the build phase of the driver what it consisting of now so next thing is the build phase of the driver execution here we need to get the interface handle what we set in the config db at the test bench top right this line of code is for setting the interface in the config db now we are getting that in the driver so this is also a, a part of the driver build phase there is no lower module to create over here inside driver nothing is there to create but in the build phase since it is a starting phase we need to get the access of this interface to communicate with right that's why this config db get method is required here in the build phase itself so once it gets the instance from the config db and then build phase of the monitor is started monitor also try to get the access of the interface you can see monitor build phase next here also i will be having a line of code accessing the config db get method here we will be getting this vif handle from the from the config db which we set in the test bench top this is about build phases and after that monitor build phase the next build phase which is going to be executed is scoreboard and after that execution uh, of build phase completes then we move on to the connect phase you can see over here the very first thing is build phase build phase is executed in a top down manner in test 
we created the environment in environment we created scoreboard agent and in agent we created monitor driver sequencer and these things are happening in the build phase itself after creating these components and the objects now we need to connect these carefully that will happen in the connect phase you can see connect phase is bottom up bottom up means the inside classes which we need to connect need to be connected first then we need to go to the top layer so the very internal thing is sequencer and driver so sequencer and driver connection we need to make and we need to do that in the connect phase of the agent class agent will be consisting of sequencer and driver the connection of those two will be made in the connect phase of agent that's why connect phase of agent is executing over here if you see the connect phase of agent this will be consisting of connecting the sequencer and driver this is connecting the driver and sequencer we will be having a connection of driver and sequencer inside a agent that's why agent class will be connecting sequencer and driver right once this connection is done over here using tlm ports now the next connection we are expecting is monitor to scoreboard this monitor scoreboard connection we need to make in environment why because environment will be consisting of this scoreboard and monitor right that's why we need to go to the environment code and we need to write the connect phase here connect phase is required in environment so you can see void connect phase and here also i have a connection made this connection will connect the monitor port to the scoreboard port so this connection we are doing in the environment why because the scoreboard and monitor are available in the environment to connect right inside agent we can't write this why because scoreboard is out of agent and monitor is inside agent so in environment we need to make that connection so connect phase is required in agent as well as in environment once the connect phase of the agent and connect phase of the environment is done and connecting the driver sequencer and monitor scoreboard is done we move on to the end of elaboration phase in end of elaboration phase you can see here after the connect phase it is end of elaboration this is used to print the uvm hierarchy that we can write in in the test component in the test component end of elaboration phase is executing and here you can see the uvm test topology this is the topology it is going to print and it will give us how actually the hierarchy will be uvm test top is there under that environment under that agent under that driver monitor and sequencer these two are the driver ports and similarly sequencer will be having all these required inside and we will be having scoreboard inside environment right this is the hierarchy of our uvm classes or the components we have that will be printed once we do the end of elaboration phase and we call print topology right this is the end of elaboration once the printing is done means we will be having the connections carefully and we will be having the builds of the lower components carefully now the next thing is we need to start the run phases you can see as soon as it prints the hierarchy run phase of the test is starting this run phase executes in parallel means all the run phases will be consisting of some test generation or the stimulus generation and also the extracting the result and uh, giving to the dut and getting the output from the dut so this run phases will be parallel and you can see over here run phase of the test is started inside the test only we will be triggering our sequence which, which sequence we are triggering means sq which we need to define over here as uh, the sequence we are starting on the sequencer uh, which will be having this line of code will start generating the data so if you go inside the sequence we will be having set of code inside a body task since this is a uvm object we will be not having any phase phases in uvm objects this is a uvm object class there are no phases once the test run phase is started the sequence will be called and this sequence bo body method we need to write this body method is responsible for generating the stimulus here we can randomize we can assign some value to the uh, transaction packet signals and those things will be doing in the body method as soon as it completes it will give that to the driver you can see once the sequence is started 
run phase of the scoreboard monitor and uh, creating the transaction packet yeah, from the interface pins and driver run phase is going to start but these things are going to happen parallelly run phase of the driver will start this will assign the transactions to the interface pins means it will take the transaction from the sequencer and it will put it on the interface pins and once this is done monitor has to get those signals from the dut through the interface so create the transaction packet back by using the interface pin signals that monitor is going to do and once that monitor is doing that scoreboard will take that and creates its results this is how the run phase will be executing here it is uh, it is printing as one after the other but it will happen parallelly in a run phase some uh, some components will take time and some components will be waiting after that it will be depending on how actually we are going to schedule our tasks in the run phase in the run phase remember we can have any uh, delay components are waiting for some event to happen that's why all the run phases if you see will be a task you can see this is a task but end of elaboration build phase connect phase all those are functions only the run phase will be a task and run phases we are going to write in all the components but in the test it is mandatory and also in the driver it is mandatory and we are going to assign the transaction packets to the interface pins over here that's why we are getting the interface handle right this is about the run phase and monitor also require a run phase to get back the data from the interface and scoreboard is also required a run phase to generate the re results after comparison and after the run phase is completed its execution then we will be having the next clean up phases clean up phases means we need to extract check report and final you can see over here i have written these clean up phases only in the scoreboard and in the driver and in the monitor in any of the other sequencer agent environment and all these phases are not required these phases are required only in the sequencer driver monitor majorly that's why the extract phase of the driver is started extract phase of the monitor is started extract phase of the scoreboard is started right and then it will come to the check phase check phase of the driver monitor and scoreboard and again report phase of the monitor report phase of the uh, driver monitor and scoreboard again final phase of the driver monitor scoreboard this completes all the phases once all the phases is done uvm will stop its execution you can see it will display the results or the reports like any info which we have used any uvm warnings which is generated any errors it is generated and any fatals it has happened if any single fatal happened means if it didn't get the interface handle properly in the driver monitor it will generate a fatal in such case simulation will stop over here so these are the different levels or the different priority uh, uh, reporting method methods you can see uvm will info will be just printing the things it will not affect your execution of uh, simulation and uvm warning also it is having a highest next priority uvm error is the next priority one it will also not stop your simulation and if uvm fatal happens then it will stop the simulation there itself and you can see at the end simulation is finished and it is calling the finish method in the uvm root.svh this is automated we have not written dollar finish anywhere this is how the uvm test bench will execute and these are all the mandatory lines of code we will be having in any of the project so you need to understand how actually these phases will be executed and remember build phase is top down uh, connect phase is bottom up end of elaboration we are going to write only in the test to print the topology and run phases will execute parallelly until all the different stimulus what we are going to give will go to dut dut will take its time to calculate it or do the functionality and give it back to monitor and scoreboard and then after extract check report and final phases give us the test result this is the general idea of how actually the uvm test bench will execute and it will give us the result right i hope this video is useful for you and if you want complete explanation about uvm i have two more videos which i have explained the complete code starting from test to scoreboard you can visit that and you can start building your test bench thank you